Folks, it is another great week here on A Drink with Dave. We are here in producer Brandon's backyard in Hollywood, and so are some construction people. It's an exciting week, not just because things are being built out of wood and rock, but also because we've got some very, very exciting guests. we got internet auteurs Chad, Matt, and Rob. we got comedian Drew Drogi. we got music from Kelly Debs. But today, we are talking to somebody that I've been wanting to talk to for a very long time. I think he is a brilliant writer, and he uh, he created my favorite show of this last season, Lone Star. You didn't watch it, unfortunately. It was canceled after two episodes. His new movie, The Beaver, just opened this past weekend. It stars Mel Gibson. It was directed by Jodie Foster. We talked to him on Friday, opening day. Very tense day for a screenwriter. He was hiding in his closet in his home in Austin, Texas, getting a little peace and quiet from his uh, wife and three small children. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kyle Killen. Kyle, welcome to our show. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Oh, it, is, it is a huge pleasure. When we started talking about doing this show, yours was the first name of, of somebody that I wanted to talk to because I am a huge fan of your work. I loved Lone Star so much. And, I appreciate uh, it uh, very, very, very much. That's very kind of you. And I miss it terribly. I feel like... <laughs> it keeps you awake at night. You're I'm still, telling you. Uh, well, no, I mean, it was just, you know, I got, a, I got a taste of something really nice and then it got taken away. Fox. And your movie, The Beaver, is coming out this weekend, correct? That's right, yes. Best of luck. How does it feel to have a, to have a, a huge Mel Gibson, Jodie Foster movie coming out? Uh, it is uh, gratifying and terrifying all at the same time. Before Lone Star, you sold uh, the script for uh, The Beaver, and now it has finally seen the light of day. Yes, here we are uh, three short years later. The movie opens this weekend. What is that like for a screenwriter? Do you, do you check the, do you, are you glued to the internet, or do you just not want to know? I am. I wish I could be a don't want to know kind of person. And it's it's different. You know, with Lone Star, we had the same. You, you're actually in the middle of a, a work day when that premieres. But you can sit down and watch Twitter and you're just seeing what people are saying literally as they're watching it. So that's kind of fascinating. And um, this is my first time with a, a feature film. So um, I wish I could say I watch nothing. But if you've typed the words, uh, the Beaver, it, the Twitter in like the last two and a half weeks, I I have read that Twitter. I like just, I, I just cannot, I can't stop. If you put The Beaver into Google in the last two and a half weeks, as with any other time in the past, you're probably going to get a lot of different results, right? You will. And it turns out that uh, people refer to Justin Bieber as The Beaver. So I would say 90% of the tweets that I have read actually... Uh, are actually about Justin Bieber. Do you have any um, any tips for the young screenwriter on on dealing, or, or the young artist of any kind, uh, on dealing with some of the things you've had to deal with in the last year, things that are kind of out of your control? Because this business is utterly chaotic. Right. And, you know, I'm 40, I've been doing this for a while, but I still get disappointed when things don't work out the way that I think they're going to. You know, I embrace the disappointments. Like, you, you wouldn't be disappointed if you, uh, if you didn't care, so that's probably good. Uh, but then it's also good to have perspective. I mean, you know, if the worst thing that happens to you is that uh, your network TV show gets canceled or, you know, your Mel Gibson, Jodie Foster, uh, Beaver movie flops, like these are actually very, very good problems to have. So there's kind of, uh, there's kind of no downside. These are, these are fun messes to make, no matter how they turn out. You sold a pilot uh, for, uh, for this fall season, correct? Yeah, we've. Uh, that's another one that's kind of, uh, you know, waiting by the internet to uh, to see what happens. So you, we did a pilot for NBC that uh, at the time was called was called REM. But uh, my understanding is that the uh, the band will not stand for that. So should it go forward, it will it will no longer have those three letters. Okay. Which, uh, I didn't know you could own portions of the of the alphabet, but they do. Oh, you can. Uh, yes. So uh, yeah, that's turned in, and um, we will. We will hear in the next week or so whether or not uh, it goes forward with NBC. Good luck. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Uh, one last question. Can you get James Wolk to come over here and take his shirt off? He's amenable to really doing that uh, anywhere it's requested of him. It's Terrific. hard to get him to keep it on. Terrific. Listen, I, w I wouldn't wear a shirt to church if I looked like James Wolk. I really wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. There's a lot of things that I would do differently if I looked like James Wolk. <laughs> be a whole different world. The world must be so different for him. I literally, I sit around and think about that. Like, what, what must it, you just, you just watch actors. And like, when you do a show, 
you appear on panels with them and so on and so forth and you see the the stills and the pictures afterwards and it's just so it's like eight uh people crafted out of marble and then there's like a gargoyle and it's very easy to find yourself in those photos stop it kyle killen i won't i won't have you talking about yourself that way stop it all right well we're gonna let you um get out of the closet and into the rest of your home Thank you so much for taking the time. What an honor having him on the show. Please go and see The Beaver. If you want to see interesting movies continue to get made, go see one. The Beaver, starring Mel Gibson, directed by Jodie Foster, written by Kyle Killen, in theaters now. Later in the week, we're going to be talking to Chad, Matt, and Rob, Internet O-Tours, creators of Choose Your Own Adventure, the web series. We'll also be talking to comedian Drew Drogi, and we'll have music from Kelly Dems. So see you then. <laughs>